Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Deck, and today we're going to talk about the Redmi Note 8, which of course I'm giving away. I was going to sell it, and I thought, God, I wouldn't want to give this or sell this to anyone, no matter how cheap a price. They'd just come back and shoot me. So, what I'm going to do is show you on a 2017 phone what you should see hmm oh what are those nice screen protectors on there ooh front and rear what for yeah yeah the next time one of those jackass high-end guys with 800,000 views or subscribers tells you he has the world's first foldable phone. No, he doesn't. I'm holding it right here. It's the ZTE Axon M. And Mike sent this to me, so I only thought it fair to send him something to text a test, because lately he's been driving me nuts with big ass models. His I know he varies all over the map, but tech won't hurt him so he'll get the uh, they read me and he'll have the patience to wait for those updates I think <sighs> or maybe to ferret out why why he's not able to you know format his internal so let's figure out how that's done and what you should see when you put a fresh micro SD. And in this case, I'm using one I inked out of, I think this phone might have been out of the uh, Alcatel. And it was probably used right. It doesn't matter. It's going to ask me if I want to format it as internal storage. 2017 phone, folks. Big difference? No freaking me, you, I, skin on top. Let's see the uh, intro, and we'll go through what you should see when you put a fresh uh, micro SD in, uh, even a non fresh. He just wiped it and offered to move apps, which I think they were all gone. I'd already moved them once, and I just yanked them out. But we'll see. Let's do that right now. All right, folks, today we're going to talk about, you know, the main reason I'm getting rid of the Redmi Note 8. I'm giving it away. And I'm actually giving it to Mike Reed. He's got a nice channel. He's got like 1,100 subscribers. Yeah, he does a wide variety of stuff. But he needed some tech stuff. And he had sent me this phone, the ZTE X on M. So I'm sending him the Redmi Note 8, and the cool rinky case. Because I can't get a micro SD card to work in there. Now I understand not liking the silicon part, but I, I went out and I purchased a sand disk, which we're using in this phone, the Mi A3, with pure Google, and it worked fine. And so, without further ado, let's slip that SIM card in, fire it up, and pray to God that uh, it still got use on it. <laughs> so, in goes the card, and on goes the phone. 
There you go. Powered by Android ZTE. This is Android 7, 7.1 maybe, or 2 even, I don't know. The world's first photo phone, by the way. Yeah. Not anything else. This one came from AT&T originally, hence the logo. Hmm. Uh-oh. Let me see if I can remember my pin number here. Hmm. 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 I'm just going to check it. It's probably going to ask me again the first time I try to fire it up. And then we're going to format that card and check that out. So this might get a little long. This is powered by a Snapdragon quad core. 821, which in 2017 was a bleeding edge processor. That's before Octacores. So, we're waiting on that. But I'm going to show you what you should see on a properly set up skin slash firmware, whatever. And why this is completely unacceptable over here. Totally, completely unacceptable. Let me see what it's saying here. So, there's our screen 5.2 inch IPS. Yeah, nice. There's a fingerprint reader. It's the power button on the side. We're hopefully not going to have to use that. We're going to go in here and see if it spots the fact we've inserted an SD card. Settings. <laughs> I'm going to have to look for those. I'll be right back. All right, folks, so it's already seeing the micro SD it says 24 gig of 192 gigabytes used. But I'm going to show you what in here <laughs> if we want to reformat that card. Ah. 2.47. <laughs> And see what you, uh, you can't see it on the screen too well. But it does say format or format as internal. <laughs> Man, I gotta turn the brightness way down or something. Or down to. stock. We're showing 64 gig. That's the internal. Oh, we got an SD card though. And format. Format is an internal. Let's do that right now. Uh -huh. Erasing format. And off we go to the races. You know, and don't remove your card and turn your phone off. Blah de do. De da de do. This is what you should see on any respectable, decent phone built. This is what you don't see over here. You get four minutes decode, never offers you this opportunity. This is a, what? Two, almost two and a half year old phone? Yeah. Also the world's first foldable phone, by the way. So the next time you see guy bragging about his 
you know, Galaxy Fold and having the world's first foldable phone, tell them to kiss your ass. The ZTEXM. Huh. We can move any amps we have uh, and say, Oops. and look at that. This is just going to move over as if they're part of the full hard drive or you know, micro. Uh, you got the micro SD and the internal memory. Yay! Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, it's not much to move from the phone. It'll take about one second, it says. <laughs> SD card is ready. Done. Uh, storage. Hmm. We've used 30.75 gig of 192 gig. Because, yeah, there's like 6 gig already stuff on the SD card. That's it, folks. That is what you're supposed to see. 2017 phone. New phone. Unacceptable results. Me, you, I, and Xiaomi, when they put their own skin on, sucks. Now, of course, I saw that exact same thing on the phone we're filming on right now. The Mi A3, also from Xiaomi. Or Xiaomi, <laughs> you can pronounce it any way you want. The bottom line, kitties. Yay! Versus me. Yes, I got an after. Yeah. Ooh, an after. An after. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good haptic feedback. I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, on this phone, it does have stereo speakers up at the top and coming out. One of the bottom grills here, USB-C charging. This phone was bleeding edge in 2017. It'll run PowerDirect Pro all day long, and you can create videos with it. So, all that being said, now you know why I'm getting rid of the Redmi Note 8. Just unacceptable that a phone that's been out for months, months, since 2019 sometime. It's now 2020, so it's really a three-year-old phone. The only thing wrong with this phone ever was the fact of accidental touches. And it's very simple to move your finger, yeah. And yeah, I didn't want to do that, yeah. Hi folks, I'm back uh, with the final uh, thoughts on this. As you can see from the previous video, which took forever to edit, I had to cut this and cut that, and then I got the intro mixed up with the primary segment. You don't want to know. But let's just say, you have now seen the proof is in the pudding. A phone from 2017 went right into asking me, do you want to format this as internal storage? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, said Tim. And so, that's what we did. Works fine. The Redmi Note 8 down here, <laughs> the one I can't recommend buying if you're an amateur and want to have all that, you know, make use of that expensive storage, 
Now, if you just shoot regular shots on your phone, you ain't never going to care about only having 64 gig of storage. If you shoot, you know, 10 second video of your cat or your kids blowing the candles out, you ain't never going to need more than that. Just make sure to delete it. But it sure is nice to have extra storage. So, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching the whole damn thing. And on that note, poof, I'm out of here.